It's not over, the revolution. So it's really hard to reflect on something that's, that's not done yet. Maybe our generation has been educated in English and is more used to thinking and writing in English. Suddenly, after October 17, everything was in Arabic. It's what unifies us at the end of the day, and I think this was a very important moment. Arabic is public space. As you know, uh, Arabic is uh, cursive, so all the letters connect and they change form depending on their position. Uh, so one letter can have five different forms, even more in some uh, calligraphic styles. Archaic Kufi will always be my like absolute favorite uh, calligraphic style, visually. So there are a lot of ligatures, bold, bulky, awkwardness, but then that's also kind of really poetic in its connections. Kufur takes this into account, and it's kind of responsive in many ways. So for example, the ya is reversed, and the longer the word is, the longer the madde, or the extension of the ya is. Some letters also don't form uh, horizontal connections, but rather cascading connections. There's no strict baseline. There's also some instances where two uh, bulbous uh, characters meet, then they connect with a much thinner uh, stroke to kind of create contrast. And these are all things that happened within the, within the calligraphy itself that I also tried to, uh, tried to keep within the typeface. So Kufur is not at all a revival of, uh, of, of Kufi. It's kind of more a reimagination of it, like a lettering version of archaic Kufi.